Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to Hello Mendix. My name is Ryan Mocky, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about entities, the domain model, and how Mendix works with databases. Let's go. In Mendix, we model our data structures in the domain model, which is similar to an ERD or entity relationship diagram, except that it also creates a functional underlying database when your app compiles. Mendix has a built-in database option, but it will also support IBM DB2, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle and PostgreSQL databases. To explain it simply, a domain model is a collection of entities and how they relate to each other. An entity can be compared to a table in traditional SQL. Entities have attributes which you can think of as fields, and they have primitive types such as string, date, time, int, and decimal. Entities can relate to each other either in a one-to-one, -one, one-to-many, or many-to-many -many relationship and there's also delete behavior available for each relationship. If you're interested in learning more about how Mendix keeps your database in sync with your model, you can check out Under the Hood where I cover exactly that. You can also make an entity inherit properties from a parent by creating a generalization of that object. Generalizations give the child all the properties of the parent, and you can cast them between forms when working with them in microflows and in pages. The coolest thing about entities is that they come in three different flavors. First off, we have the blue, which is persistent. Then we have orange, which is non-persistent. And purple, which is remote entities or data hub entities. Persistent entities can be committed to and retrieved from the database. Non-persistent entities live in the device's memory and they are cleared when the session expires. This makes them ideal for integrations and for storing data temporarily to be used later. The final form an entity can take is a remote entity. This is made possible using Mendix Data Hub, which is an open metadata catalog. This allows you to share data between your apps using OData communications to send the data back and forth. You can expose an entity in one app using Data Hub and then consume that data in another app so long as both are controlled by you or your company. Remember, security is always important when dealing with entities as this will restrict who can control and see your data. Open the properties of your entity and head over to the access rules tab. You can then configure who can create, edit, and view your app's data. To find out more, you can head to academy.mendix.com and look for learning paths on domain modeling and Mendix Data Hub. That's all for now. Until next time, my name is Ryan, and this is Hello Mendix.